let's increase the mesh resolution near the plate. Um, for apps on demand users, I wanted to mention that you can switch windows using the option here. Um, look at the options around, you know, in, in this as well as over here. Um, you, you know, you'll find useful stuff there. Let me turn off the ruler. This is just a visual thing. And to figure out how to turn off the ruler, there's actually, you know, a useful search bar option here that I wanted to show you. So if I say ruler and I, you know, it says, oh, this is where I need to go. And I can actually tell it, take me there. And you see, I need to go into the display tab and you have this show display option here. And I'll just turn off the ruler. And to increase the resolution near the plate, I will use the biasing option. So I'll go to edge sizing two and I will turn on the bias type to, let's say the first one. Okay. And then give it a bias factor. And I'll explain in a moment what that is. So I'll say the bias factor of 50. And let me turn off the mesh. So you see that, you know, you have smaller divisions here and larger divisions here. And the ratio of the last division to the first division is 50. Now here, the bias is not right. So what I'll do is I will go to what answers call scoping and I will deselect, I'll, I'll click on geometry and I'll just select one edge now where the biasing is right. And then I will duplicate that. So I'll right click and say duplicate. And now I want to change the, um, the biasing, you know, I want to change the scoping first. So I will click here, click on this edge and click apply. Um, so it's applied to that edge and this, this edge has a different direction and you can see the direction um, by turning on this option here under this, under in the display um, menu. And you see this, you know, the, um, the, the edge starts here and ends here, whereas here the edge starts here and ends here, which is where the biasing sense is different. So let me turn off the direction and then I'll go in here and select option two. And you see now the biasing is right. And then I can go to the mesh context menu, say update. And tell it to turn on the mesh. And you see, you know, the, the mesh is quite refined near the plate. Zoom in using the right mouse button. Um, let me zoom in a little bit more. I can check what this height is. Um, and I can do that for, to do that. Uh, let me go to the wireframe view by selecting this option here and then going to hit point coordinate XYZ. And so, you know, this is Y around zero. So the second number is Y. And then that's about of the order of like three ten to the power of minus four, which is two orders of magnitude lower than the boundary layer thickness that we calculated. That's at the edge of the plate. Um, so we have, um, you know, a fairly good resolution near the plate. It's two orders of magnitude lower than the, the thickness that we calculated. That's at the edge of the plate. Here, the boundary layer thickness is going to be a little bit smaller, but still it's pretty good. So I, to get rid of that hit point coordinate, I will just say, I'll just go select edge. I can go back to the default view, the shaded exterior and edges. I can zoom to fit. And now, you know, one thing I should note that we have marked out the points at which we want answers to calculate the primary variable. So if I zoom in here, um, for instance, for this cell, I am calculating, so at that cell center, I'm asking it to calculate U, V, P, and so on for all the other cell centers. And if I come into mesh statistics, 
okay, and expand that, I will see it tells me the number of elements And so you have to interpret this as cells. Elements is for the finite element solver for solid mechanics. Um, it's the same thing. It's called different, um, differently in, you know, finite volume and finite element. So I have 5,000 into three equals 15,000 total uh, unknowns. That means ANSYS has to generate uh, 15,000 algebraic equations. Um, and three, because I have at each of those cells, I have UVP as my unknowns. And save the project.